All right, folks. Uh, once again, I am trying to get rid of a couple of stuff, a couple of stuff, a couple of things from my stuff that I thought I needed back then, back in the day. I thought I could use them for a long time, but I really felt that I had no more use for some of my toys. There's just too much right now. That's biggest understatement of the year and I am trying to get rid of a couple more things uh, lots of stuff actually this is just the first wave of stuff I'm gonna try and get rid of uh, this is only for those living in Manila currently who if you're not living or presently currently in Metro Manila which means uh, you are you have to be physically here in the Philippines if you're if, you, if you're elsewhere in another country I'm sorry, uh, this video is not for you. I really do not have anything for you. You can just go ahead and close this video. Go watch something else. If you are in the Philippines right now, uh, big collector, been following me on YouTube or on Twitter, and uh, you, you you like some of the pieces I have in my collection. Wow, like it's such a it's such an important collection. Anyway, uh, I do have some toys that I'm trying to get rid of, and here's a first look. Well, here is a look at the first wave of, of toys I'll, I'll be trying to get rid of this year. Now, this is on a limited offer only. Um, uh, well, I, I'm going to keep this sale for about a month or so, depending on how successful it, it is. Uh, if I get to sell a lot of these uh, through friends here on YouTube, here in Manila, just initially here in Manila, I'll continue with the next wave of stuff to sell. But anyway, on to the figures for sale. I've got, let's start with the ones in box. Um, this one was something I picked up. I think it's a Toys R Us exclusive. The Ninja Pack, uh, Ninja Battle from the um, Rise of Cobra line. It's a Toys R Us exclusive, I think. Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow with props of the dojo. Um, you, if you've been trying to look for this one, this one is mint in sealed box. I haven't opened it up. I'm, I'm willing to give it up. Uh, uh, first come, first serve, by the way. All right. Um, before we continue, uh, just before I forget, if you're interested, you can go ahead and send me a message on on YouTube. Try, don't put it as a comment in this video. Just send me a, a direct message uh, on YouTube. Just click the message. Go to my channel and click the message button or send message button you send me I can answer that a lot faster than if you leave a comment here also if you if you want to email me my email is at fxfriends at yahoo.com you can send me an email there or PM me on YouTube okay next up I have an extra flamethrower clone trooper for those of you clone trooper fans out there who are trying to army build uh, this particular trooper um, I have an extra one I'll sell it to you um, yeah, if you need one, another one. For those of you still tracking down pre Vizla, very difficult figure to catch on retail. Uh, if you still need one, um, I have another one. Or if you, if you haven't gotten him, I'm willing to part with this one. Also, as everybody knows, uh, Terry, good friend from New York, uh, he has great videos. Hung, he, on YouTube, he's hung17688. Uh, he already sent me a GI Joe, but my brother wanted to give me a present as well when he came visit when he came to visit here in spring or summer. Uh, he sent me another GI Joe Snake Eyes Ninja Commando. This is the Wave Four, I think, or Wave Three uh, Snake Eyes. But it's the one with two heads, uh, the cl the the one with the visor and the one with the classic um, classic mask or something but anyway if anyone's still looking for this one I'm willing to part with this one since as a candidate said Terry had already given me one big fan, big big thanks and heads up to Terry I hope he's doing fine um, I don't I don't need another one so if you need this I'm willing to sell it uh, my brother just packed it in his suitcase and it sort of got smashed in the process I think he folded it up so that you could put more clothes or something like that but it's just the package that's been busted up but the figure inside is still fine and you can add it to your collection if you're still trying to track this one down. Sell it at a good price because of the damage package. Uh, here's another one. Another figure that's equally hard to find and come by nowadays is the Reveal the Shield Wind Charger. Um, it's an extra one I had. Uh, I think a friend of mine also bought... No, not my friend. I think my wife bought this for me. One of those toy runs we had. I think she had bought this for me when... 
uh, when she stumbled ac across it. And I, I already have my charger, and uh, I thought it'd be cool to have another one, so I kept it for a while. But uh, uh, I'm sure a lot of you people are still hunting this one down, so you know she's probably going to look for it the next day. She's gonna, Where'd you put that wind charger? Anyway, but anybody who needs a wind charger, I'm willing to sell mine. All right. Another one is. This one, I was supposed to give this one as a gift. I picked this up uh, at a Toys R Us here nearby. It's the Reveal the Shield Legends Class Optimus Prime. I was supposed to give this one as a gift, but apparently that person already had it, so I ended up in my bin. So if anybody needs one, the still trying to track down this one, I'm willing to sell my extra uh, Reveal the Shield Optimus Prime uh, to anyone who actually needs it. Okay, so that's that's all that's been still in mint. Uh, some loose figures. Let's start with the big ones. Uh, Transformers Cybertron repaints. They were repainted as a Toys R Us exclusive, I think, uh, for the movie one toy line. Uh, this guy's now been called, I think he's called Jetstorm. I don't know if he was still Jetstorm before. And this one is Wingblade. Um, I can sell them individually, but if anyone's interested in getting them both, I can sell them at a lower price. The electronics, I think, still work. I haven't actually had a chance to test them out, but the last time I checked, they were still working. They work on AAA batteries. Um, I think they're still pretty okay. I haven't. I don't really transform much of my toys. I just just gathering dust on the shelf, as you can probably see and notice. So Jetstorm Wingblade, if you guys are interested, I never had the never a big fan of these Cybertron figures. Uh, they were cool at one time, but never really got around to really liking them. And more of the movie type of figure, the, the real movie figures from first movie to Revenge and to Dark of the Moon. I've been a big fan of those, but these guys, the repainted ones, eh, they were just okay to me. And these are not doubles. I just really want to give these guys up. Uh, they do need a little bit of cleaning, um, but they're just dust. The plastic is still okay. Uh, so you're really getting a good deal for these. Um, you can sell them cheaper if you're getting both of them. Next one is, I've been trying to get rid of this particular figure for the longest time. No one seems to be interested in buying it. The electronics still work. This is the, well, it's he's Red Alert. He's a repainted, it's a repainted version into Inferno. This is, again, a Toys R Us exclusive for the first movie line. And the electronics still work. He got, he's got all his accessories intact. Um, even has the Minicon. The... The gimmicks still work. Um, just trying to get rid of it. If you need it, um, you can sell it at a good price. Uh, here's another one uh, that I wasn't really a big fan of. I thought I liked him. I liked his alt mode. This is Jolt when he was still a Decepticon back in the first movie. It's not even actually a movie figure. I mean, it's a repainted Cybertron figure that's been repainted for the longest time. I think this is the third or fourth version of this mold. They repainted it as a Walmart exclusive uh, for the first. Target or Walmart, I'm not sure, but it's an exclusive figure for the first movie. This is Jolt. He's still a Decepticon. Uh, it's if you remember, this used to be Starscream, uh, not Starscream, Smokescreen, Cybertron Smokescreen, and been repainted several times. And it's actually a cool color for him. I like purple, but just not really a big fan of the figure. If anyone's still looking for that, I can give it to you for a good price. Next, we have the. Why is this one here? I didn't think I was okay. Um, this is the Takara version, the Takara version of Cybertron. Oh, for the life of me, I cannot remember this guy's name. The the Japanese name. Uh, anyway, you 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 get it. But I already have Countdown, which is the red repaint. The again Toys R Us exclusive of this mold. Uh, Countdown. Uh, I like that one better. This one is the forgot his name but he's, this is the Takara version the electronics I think still work I haven't actually tried it out recently but I, I do believe they still work the key gimmick still works he I think he still has his key um, it's somewhere there I can find it somewhere I can get, there's so many keys in my bin but the keys do still work and uh, the the gimmicks work the missile launches still all there even has his gun with him, so oh, here, here's the key. I saw it right here. Where is it? Here, right here. So he's got everything with it, just a little bit dusty. If you're still looking for this mold, this particular figure, willing to sell it off. All right, enough of the Transformers, on to the actual figures. 
Uh, been collecting the Sigma 6 GI Joes um, back in 2007. Tried to complete some of them. I was a big fan of some, not really a big fan of the others. So, a couple of figures I've been trying. I'm gonna be trying to get rid of. First one is Gung Ho. Right here, he's got all his accessories. Still in very, very good condition. Uh, next is the Iron Grenadier. Still in good condition, complete accessories. And third one is the Cobra Bat. Uh, this is the one with the arm, with the wings and weapons. And it's still in good condition, just a little bit dusty, but uh, he's still pretty good. So if anybody wants any of them, I can sell them individually. I can sell them a set. If you buy it as a set, I'd sell it for you cheaper. Okay, uh, Marvel Select fans out there, if you're interested, I'm selling my Carnage. Um, this one still comes with the, with the uh, base, quote unquote. If you're still looking for this figure, sell it loose. Uh, you like it, buy it. Uh, more Marvel fans out there, I'm selling my Demo Goblin. This is the, um, I think it's a Spider-Man Origins figure. Yeah, the Demo Goblin. Bought it in New York um, when I was there. Uh, it's okay, uh, but just not really a big fan of Spider-Man. Uh, I like Spider-Man. I only I like Venom. I like the black suited Spider-Man, but the other I like Doc Ock. But the the Goblin foes, they're just Hobgoblin, Green Goblin. They don't really appeal too much to me. So, in the same vein, I'm also selling my Marvel Legends Green Goblin, complete with this uh, glider and. A pumpkin bomb. I uh, still in good condition. I, I hear a lot of people have been trying to track down this figure, and it's been very rare, especially here in Manila. It's a little bit dusty, but he's still in good condition, so I'm willing to sell this figure at a good price. Next, uh, oh, Rockman. Uh, you know, plastic's been fading in some parts, but he's still pretty good. You can still move him. Very poseable. Uh, I like this figure, but just not really. Uh, been a big fan of, of, of Rockman or Mega Man, so I'm, uh, I'm gonna sell this figure. He still comes with the bag of uh, arms and spare arms and spare hands and fists that came with it, so you can still replace his hand and, and do whatever you want to do with it. And and if you buy this, I'm gonna throw in two uh, two other figures. Uh, these were Happy Meal toys. I forgot their names, but they're part of the of the Rockman. I think game or something, I'm willing to throw them in for free if you get this figure. Next, uh, one of my prized pieces, one of my prized uh, figures in my collection, this is the, if you watch Samurai X, big fan of that show, well, for at least for a certain time, it was just so depressing at one point. I am willing to sell my Kenshin figure, uh, it's complete, still in good condition, the plastic's still good, these Japanese are going to make good toys. He comes with a sword and scabbard, non-functioning scabbard, just as a prop. Uh, oops. We'll just keep it down there. He also still has, I've managed to keep the sheathed uh, version of the sword, of his uh, reverse bladed sword. Um, so all the pieces are complete. No base though, um, sorry about that didn't come with the base I think so if you if you big fan, anime fans out there you need a Kenshin figure I'll sell this at a good price also more anime fans uh, if you watched um, I forgot what the name of this the show this guy belonged to uh, in the US but here in Manila this guy is uh, known as Eugene in Ghost Fighter um, so big fan of that show this is very rare to come by because he's the most popular he's the star of the show along with his friends so if you need him still in good condition he still even comes with his pet um, it goes on his head I think yeah like that um, I still have it so if you're interested let me know uh, more anime I have uh, from the classic cult movie Akira this is uh, Tetsuo his friend Kaneda I just love that movie. It's so depressing at some point. But uh, I have Tetsuo. If you're interested, if you like that movie, you like these figures. He even I even still kept his arm, his mutated arm. Uh, this one really just snaps in into this arm, or yeah, into this arm. I think and it still works. Still in good condition. Hasn't degraded. So 
you're interested, uh, let me know. Uh, that's about it. Oh, one more. Lastly, one of the very, very first uh, sets I actually got that got me into collecting was the Lord of the Rings Ring Wraith. Uh, this was a very, very nice figure back in the day. Let me put him up so you can actually see him. Very nice. Uh, it's from Toy Biz. Great detail back in the day when at the height of Toy Biz's. Uh, when, when the Toy Biz toys were really just the in thing and Hasbro hadn't uh, gone up to to its status right now but Toy Biz was really the the toys to get and uh, this was a pretty pretty cool figure he still comes with his sword uh, the horse prop and the um, horse prop am I saying his horse uh, the robes even has uh, that really ominous look to him uh, and the electronics for the horse still work. The eyes light up if you pull on the reins. Uh, I got this one way back in 2002, I think. And about nine years ago, nine, ten years ago, the electronics still work. Wow, look at that. That's quality right there from the Toy Biz. So, yeah, um, very cool. If you need the Ring Wraith, willing to part with it these are just uh, the first wave again as I said of, of toys I'm willing to sell this year um, after toy con of course um, and, and if you're interested let me know email me fxfrans at yahoo.com or send me a, a personal message on YouTube um, you can comment if you want but I'd, I'd rather you send me a personal message so I can respond to it better I will try and post as as uh what do you call those things annotations yeah annotations on this video the selling price uh, the asking price for these figures um and, and i will update it if it's already been sold so anyone who sees this video for the first time will know if it's sold or not so this is a first come first serve basis no reservations no down payment you pay you pay as uh as you get the stuff uh, no reservations, no down payment, no nothing. Just first come, first serve. Whoever's the first one wants it, set up a date or whatnot. We can meet, uh, which means you either have to be in Alabang, Makati, uh, Quezon City in the Trinoma area, or, yeah, that's about it. Maybe Ortigas area, I'm not, Green Hills, I'm not too fond of that. But Alabang or Trinoma area or Makati is good. Uh, we can meet up. Um, or if you want, just drop by my store. Um, my baked goods store. I can leave it there and then you can purchase it there through my staff. I'd rather you do that because I'm very busy. Uh, but but that that's it. Um, uh, I'm sorry it took so long, um, but these are really, really good pieces uh, that I have in my collection and I was, you know, uh, it's okay. I'm, I'm willing to get rid of them just to free up space and just I just have too much toys now and um, don't really need these anymore and uh, I, I hope I can make somebody happy and give it at a good price. So there you go. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, I do hope it, this, this sale becomes successful and I have more stuff to sell. Alright, thanks.